The BMW E90 models utilize a one multi-rib engine drive belt. The belt may be referred to as a serpentine belt because it snakes around the engine accessories. With your engine cold and turned off, inspect your drive belt for wear. The belt should be free from cracks, fraying, glazing, and missing chunks. Replace your belt if any of the previously mentioned issues are present or every four years. In this article, I'll go over the steps involved with replacing the drive belt on the BMW E90 models. Be sure to work with a cool engine and remove the key from the ignition. Working at the front radiator support, remove two T20 torque fasteners from the intake duct as indicated by the green arrows. Working at the intake air duct connection on the air filter housing, use a small flathead screwdriver. Release the retaining tabs on each side and pull the duct off. This is the normally aspirated engine shown here. For turbocharged engine, the duct on the radiator support unscrews the same as the previous step. The duct for the air filter housing is also removed the same way. The air filter housing, though, is in a different spot. Follow the duct and release the tabs to remove the duct. Then pull the intake duct out of the radiator support and remove it from the vehicle. Green arrow. Remove the duct that runs across the top of the radiator to access the drive belt. To do this, loosen hose clamp at the bottom of the air filter housing. Green arrow. Then rotate the hose lock 90 degrees counterclockwise and pull the hose duct off. Yellow arrow. Pull the duct off the air filter housing. Then remove the 6mm Allen duct fasteners, green arrow, and pull the duct, yellow arrow, away from the engine enough to remove the drive belt. Raise and support the front of the vehicle. Please see our tech article on how to properly jack up and support your vehicle with the link provided at the end of this video. Before removing the drive belt, mark the direction of rotation if you're reusing the belt and note its installation position. Next, using a T60 torque socket on a long handled ratchet, rotate the belt tensioner clockwise to release the belt tension. This photo shows the part of the tensioner you insert your torque bit into to release the tension, indicated by the green arrow. With the tension release, pull the belt off the tensioner pulley then remove the belt from the remaining pulleys and remove it from the engine. With the belts removed, inspect the pulleys for lateral play or binding. The idler pulley commonly fails. If this occurs, the coolant pump will lose the drive belt and the engine will overheat. Now is a good time to replace the idler pulley to prevent future problems. Please see our tech article on idler pulley replacing by using the link provided at the end of this video. To install the accessory drive belt, begin by wrapping the belt around the crankshaft pulley, then over around the power AC compressor pulley, around the power steering pulley, and around the idler pulley, and then the alternator. Once the belt is properly installed on all the accessories, release the tension on the tensioner as described earlier and slide the belt onto the tensioner pulley. Check that it is properly aligned and installed in all of the pulley grooves correctly. Be careful not to force the belt onto the pulleys. Damage may occur. Release the tensioner once the belt is in place and check the belt is properly aligned and installed and in all pulley grooves correctly. Once you're sure the belt is installed correctly, start the engine and allow it to run for less than 30 seconds. Shut off the engine and recheck your belt installation. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.